In mathematics, a Cauchy sequence, named after Augustin Louis Cauchy, is a sequence whose elements become arbitrarily close to each other as the sequence progresses. More precisely, given any small positive distance, all but a finite number of elements of the sequence are less than that given distance from each other. Note, it is not sufficient for each term to become arbitrarily close to the preceding term. For instance, does not converge. Rather, it is required for a given n that any pair m, n, n we have, the utility of Cauchy sequences lies in the fact that in a complete metric space, the criterion for convergence depends only on the terms of the sequence itself, as opposed to the definition of convergence, which uses the limit value as well as the terms. This is often exploited in algorithms, both theoretical and applied, where an iterative process can be shown relatively easily to produce a Cauchy sequence, consisting of the iterates, thus fulfilling a logical condition, such as termination. The notions above are not as unfamiliar as they might at first appear. The customary acceptance of the fact that any real number x is a decimal expansion is an implicit acknowledgement that a particular Cauchy sequence of rational numbers has the real limit x. In some cases it may be difficult to describe x independently of such a limiting process involving rational numbers. Generalizations of Cauchy sequences in more abstract uniform spaces exist in the form of Cauchy filters and Cauchy nets. In real numbers, a sequence of real numbers is called a Cauchy sequence, if for every positive real number i micron, there is a positive integer n such that for all natural numbers m, n, n, where the vertical bars denote the absolute value. In a similar way one can define Cauchy sequences of rational or complex numbers. Cauchy formulated such a condition by requiring to be infinitesimal for every pair of infinite m, n. In a metric space, to define Cauchy sequences in any metric space x, the absolute value xm, xn is replaced by the distance d, xm, xn between xm and xn. Formally, given a metric space, a sequence, x1, x2, x3, is Cauchy, if for every positive real number i micron 0 there is a positive integer n such that for all positive integers m, n, n, the distance, d, xm, xn, 0 all terms xn of n greater than 1 slash d fit in the interval, however does not converge in xa0 its limit, number 0, does not belong to the space x equals other properties equals, every convergent sequence is a Cauchy sequence, since, given any real number i micron 0, beyond some fixed point, every term of the sequence is within distance i micron slash 2 of s, so any two terms of the sequence are within distance i micron of each other. Every Cauchy sequence of real numbers is bounded. In any metric space, a Cauchy sequence which has a convergent subsequence with limit s is itself convergent, since, given any real number are greater than zero, beyond some fixed point in the original sequence, every term of the subsequence is within distance a slash 2 of s, and any two terms of the original sequence are within distance a slash 2 of each other, so every term of the original sequence is within distance a of s. These last two properties, together with the lemma used in the proof of the Bortzano or euro weierstrass theorem, yield one standard proof of the completeness of the real numbers, Closely related to both the Bolzano or Euro Weierstrass theorem and the Heaney Euro Borel theorem. The lemma in question states that every bounded sequence of real numbers has a convergent monotonic subsequence. Given this fact, every Cauchy sequence of real numbers is bounded, hence has a convergent subsequence, hence is itself convergent. It should be noted, though, that this proof of the completeness of the real numbers implicitly makes use of the least upper bound axiom. The alternative approach, mentioned above, of constructing the real numbers as the completion of the rational numbers, makes the completeness of the real numbers tautological. One of the standard illustrations of the advantage of being able to work with Cauchy sequences and make use of completeness is provided by consideration of the summation of an infinite series of real numbers. Such a series is considered to be convergent if and only if the sequence of partial sums is convergent, where it is a routine matter to determine whether the sequence of partial sums is Cauchy or not, since for positive integers p, q, 
if is a uniformly continuous map between the metric spaces M and N and is a Cauchy sequence in M, then is a Cauchy sequence in N. If and are two Cauchy sequences in the rational, real or complex numbers, then the sum and the product are also Cauchy sequences. Generalizations equals in topological vector spaces equals, there is also a concept of Cauchy sequence for a topological vector space, pick a local base for about zero. Then is a Cauchy sequence if for each member, there is some number such that whenever is an element of. If the topology of is compatible with a translation invariant metric, the two definitions agree. Equals in topological groups equals, since the topological vector space definition of Cauchy sequence requires only that there be a continuous subtraction operation, it can just as well be stated in the context of a topological group, a sequence in a topological group is a Cauchy sequence if for every open neighborhood of the identity and there exists some number such that whenever it follows that. As above, it is sufficient to check this for the neighborhoods in any local base of the identity in. As in the construction of the completion of a metric space, one can furthermore define the binary relation on Cauchy sequences in that and are equivalent if for every open neighborhood of the identity and there exists some number such that whenever it follows that. This relation is an equivalence relation, it is reflexive since the sequences are Cauchy sequences. It is symmetric since which by continuity of the inverse is another open neighborhood of the identity. It is transitive since where and are open neighborhoods of the identity such that such pairs exist by the continuity of the group operation. Equals and groups equals, there is also a concept of Cauchy sequence in a group, let be a decreasing sequence of normal subgroups of a finite index. Then a sequence in is said to be Cauchy if and only if for any there is such that. Technically, this is the same thing as a topological group Cauchy sequence for a particular choice of topology on, namely that for which is a local base. The set of such Cauchy sequences forms a group, and the set of null sequences is a normal subgroup of. The factor group is called the completion of with respect to. One can then show that this completion is isomorphic to the inverse limit of the sequence. An example of this construction, Familiar in number theory and algebraic geometry is the construction of the p-adic completion of the integers with respect to a prime p. In this case, g is the integers under addition, and hr is the additive subgroup consisting of integer multiples of pr. If as a co-final sequence, then this completion is canonical in the sense that it is isomorphic to the inverse limit of, where varies over all normal subgroups of finite index. For further details, CCH. I10 in Lang's algebra. Equals in constructive mathematics equals, in constructive mathematics, Cauchy sequences often must be given with a modulus of Cauchy convergence to be useful. If is a Cauchy sequence in the set, then a modulus of Cauchy convergence for the sequence is a function from the set of natural numbers to itself, such that. Clearly, any sequence with a modulus of Cauchy convergence is a Cauchy sequence. The converse follows from the well-ordering property of the natural numbers. However, this well-ordering property does not hold in constructive mathematics. On the other hand, this converse also follows from the principle of dependent choice, which is generally accepted by constructive mathematicians. Thus, moduli of Cauchy convergence are needed directly only by constructive mathematicians who do not wish to use any form of choice. That said, Using a modulus of Cauchy convergence can simplify both definitions and theorems in constructive analysis. Perhaps even more useful are regular Cauchy sequences, sequences with a given modulus of Cauchy convergence. Any Cauchy sequence with a modulus of Cauchy convergence is equivalent to a regular Cauchy sequence. This can be proved without using any form of the axiom of choice. Regular Cauchy sequences were used by Eric Bishop in his Foundations of Constructive Analysis, but they have also been used by Douglas Bridges in a non-constructive textbook. However, Bridges also works on mathematical constructivism. The concept has not spread far outside of the milieu. Equals in a hyperreal continuum equals, a real sequence has a natural hyperreal extension, defined for hypernatural values h of the index n in addition to the usual natural n. The sequence is Cauchy if and only if for every infinite h and k, 
the values and are infinitely close, or adequate, that is. Where st is the standard part function. See also, modes of convergence. References. Further reading, Burbaki, Nicholas. Commutative Algebra. Addison Wesley. ISBN 0-201-00644-8. Lang, Serge, Algebra, Reading, Massachusetts Addison Wesley Pub Company, ISBN 978-0-201-55540-0, ZBL 0848.13001, Spivak, Michael. Calculus. Berkeley, California, Publish or Perish. ISBN 0-914098-89-6. Troelstra, A.S. D. van der Linn. Constructivism in Mathematics, An Introduction. External links, Haswinkel, Mikiel, ed., Fundamental Sequence, Encyclopedia of Mathematics, Springer, ISBN 978-1-55608-010-4.